What's up guys? So uh, this past week I received something uh, which I had been waiting for for over a year. I ordered it over a year ago. Um, it is not this, although it's similar to this. Um, this is American Lawman. Um, this knife, as far as I know, was designed by Andrew Demko. Um, and Cold Steel, he works for Cold Steel. And uh, so they put out this knife. Um, but Andrew Demko, Demko makes a, uh, a custom version which I, as far as I know is the original version. Uh, this is a real nice knife. I, I actually I'm not a huge Cold Steel fan overall but this uh, there's, there's, there's not much uh, wrong you know there's not there's a there's nothing not to like really this is a great design um, it's a good size uh, I smoothed out the uh, G10 underneath the clip because it was really grippy. It's actually still the, the clips are still really tight um, And I also uh, took the black coating off which was ugly um, When this knife came it actually wasn't sharpened all the way back So I fixed that as well um, You can actually almost see Right about uh, here it was only sharpened to about here which I don't think is normal but at any rate fix that and it's a real nice knife um, but let's see last week I received this after waiting quite a while and I just wanted to kind of compare them um, compare the two um, so this is a, a custom Andrew Demko it's actually called an AD10 um, and you can see the size difference the uh, AD10 is definitely larger uh, overall if we go from the side here uh, I mean there's really just uh, you know there's little to no comparison between the two um, and the lawman's a beefy knife to begin with but uh, this AD10 is just kind of out of control. You can see the blade thickness. Uh, everything about this AD10 is just over the top, really. Um, I got, uh, there's some options you can get. I got the carbon fiber uh, option. This is peel ply carbon fiber and uh, titanium backspacer. Um, you can also get it with thicker, uh, these are titanium liners, you can get it with thicker titanium liners. These are uh, 0 0.05, I think. Anyway, you can get them twice as thick. You can get liners twice as thick. Um, obviously the 8010 doesn't have any liners. I think you can also get this without liners. If, if Andrew's still taking orders, I'm not really sure, but... Um, big old triad lock on this sucker and when it I mean it's it's really pretty unbelievable overall I mean the thing just feels it's uh, so solid it's I've never really felt anything like it um, if we compare it in size to a SMF this is a Strider SMF which is a big knife. I mean, this is a CC SMF, but you know, if we compare the tips on these, if I can get it to focus, and you know, the SMF's a big knife, but uh, you can see the 8010 is just wicked, wickedly built. So, you can see the SMF here, I'll put this down here. So it's about the size of an SMF, I guess, but it just feels so much 
more substantial. It definitely feels... Now the SMF, this one's rock solid. It's got the new, uh, the new lockup, which actually works great. This is a CPM 154 um, blade. The AD10 is also... Or was it? I, again, I don't know if this if you can still order these or not, but um, CPM 154 is one of the available steels. This particular one is uh, CPM M4 blade steel. Um, got a little sharpening choil there, which is really nice. And it's actually sharpened, uh, or it's actually really thin behind the edge. Um, I asked that he make it point. Let's see, 0 0.015 behind the edge. So again, this is always kind of hard to show, but uh, we'll do our we'll do our best. Let's see what's the best angle here without uh, maybe if we compare it to this, you can see. Yeah, you can probably see that. The, the, the SMF is de definitely thicker behind the edge. But overall, it's, this thing's just built like a brick shit house. It's really uh, never, never really seen anything like it. The pocket clip is a monster as well. Um, very good retention on that. You know, it just opens with a thwack. So I'll just get a get a kind of get a look at it here. I mean, it's just incredible. Feels really good in the hand. The choil's a good size up front here. Um, I wouldn't be afraid to, you know, this thing can take just, I mean, it's, it feels like it could take anything you could throw at it. Just a monster. So again, it's uh, quite a difference, huh? So anyway, um, been pretty busy lately as far as getting videos out. I haven't had a whole lot of time, but I hope to do some. There's a lot of things I want to do. It's just a matter of... Uh, you know, getting out there and doing it as far as testing and uh, stuff like that. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll get some more of that in the future. And uh, appreciate uh, everyone watching. Um, everyone who does watch and any comments or questions, I'd uh, love to hear them. Um, so again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.